Alright guys, and welcome back to part 6 of my Pokemon Hacking Tutorial Remix. In this part we're going to cover Pokemon Overworld Sprite Editor, or P-O-S-E, Pose. I don't know, that's never been used before, but yeah, Overworld Editor, for short. This allows you to edit the uh, appearance of Overworld Sprites uh, in your game. So, very simply now, I'm going to use this player here. Now, um... The simple thing to do, which I've done, already done with the sprite, is edit the colour. So you've got a palette on the right hand side. The default palette for uh, this person here is palette 16. If we change it there, you see his sprite is messed up. Usually that would look fine if it was a normal game. But because I have now changed it to fit uh, the other looks, I'll change it like that, okay? The bottom left you can change the palette, and there's only a certain number of colours in each palette. So, you know, you have to look, or you have to find this perfect one. So I'm just going to keep it there, and see all the frames have been changed for that palette. Some of these look a bit messed up still, so you have to correct them and stuff. Now if we click Next, if we look here, there's a bike, obviously. Now the thing I'm going to do is, is, obviously here you've got loads of sprites, pretty much all the sprites in the game, including if you go like 120, you've got Slowpoke, all this stuff down here. 110 is zero, etc. You got loads here, okay? It absolutely loads, as we can obviously see. Okay. Uh, yeah. So the thing I'm gonna do is I'll go back to index zero. That thing you can do is okay. Let's find a uh, nice little. Okay. We want to say we want to be a police officer. Or say we want to play as the Ruby character, okay? So the thing we can do here is we can go file, export bitmap, so export this to the tutorial room 5 underscore, you see the next frame, file, export bitmap again, save again, you see this for all the frames, I only do it for the first few. This is a very easy way if you just want to make your character a thing. Obviously if not you will have to use the actual uh, thing. As you can see if you watch the making of hack, uh, yeah, making of my Pokemon hack, the making of. Uh, you can obviously see me edit them in the first two videos. Okay, so that's done. Then we go back to index zero, and we take file, import bitmap, load sprite, five o underscore o, open, save. We go to the next frame, file, import bitmap, load sprite, five one, load, save, file, import bitmap load sprite and you can see here it says import image import palette so the palette is the right it's not it's already on the same palette so I'd have to do that but if it's a different palette I'd have to do that. So there frame free import bitmap load sprite free open save so basically this is a very easy way of doing it I'm just showing you because many people might just want to change character you know frame five Save uh, frame six now. Load sprite. It's very easy to do and uh, overworld. You just have to get used to it. It's a lot of clicking involved, okay? I'll just say it now. No, wrong one. This is frame seven. Sorry about this guys, I'm just messing around here. And number eight. Save. Let's see if we click save and then if we open up VBN in a second we can see our changes. But I'm also going to just find the fat man. Oh, not frame 20. Uh, find another man that is also in the oops, another thing thing here. So there, you can see her there. I will just make her uh, give her pink hair or something. Just so it's a bit obvious that I have changed her. So the top right is your editing window, and the bottom left, top left is the uh, what the sprite looks like from normally. Uh, there we are, and we get a normal color. I'm just going to giving her pink hair. Don't know why. <laughs> uh, yep, she's going to look a bit strange, but yeah. It's a Pokemon game. Who cares? So we get file, save. Alright, guys. So uh, I'll just open up VBA now and do that. Alright, guys, here we are on VBA, and obviously, as you can see, my sprite has been changed. If we look around, it's exactly the same as if we were a Ruby Sapphire player, which is pretty cool. Now I'm just going to run outside and show you that girl I edited. There she's down here with her. Well, I need to make her turn this way because I didn't edit all her frames. And now she has pink hair, as you can see. 
There we are. And obviously there's the rest of my stuff, okay. Alright guys, now all of these are created for the scripting tutorials. Which will be coming in a few parts. Alright guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you next time. Goodbye. Bye guys.